The Chief Minister of Karnataka, Basvaraj Bombay, has also now reacted, slammed the Congress, and he's gone on to say that the Congress is stuck by a contagious bug and they fear the name of Modi and they start abusing. So that shows their ultimate desperation and culture. Let's listen in. I think uh, there, uh, the Congress has been stuck by a bug, contagious bug. And they see, they fear the, by the name of Narendra Modi. And they start um, uh, abusing and abusing and abusing. So that shows their ultimate desperation and culture. So once again, the BJP now hitting out at the Congress for the Congress indulging in name calling once again. The BJP is saying that the Congress knows they've not done any work on the crown. This is just ultimate desperation by the Congress. This also reflects their mindset at large. Harish Upadhyay continues to be with us. And Harish, exactly what we were discussing a short while ago, the BJP is already cashing into the opportunity. I was speaking to Sanket Yenagi of the Congress a short while ago. And once again, you have the spokespersons trying to defend. But unfortunately, it looks it's too little too late in the day. Absolutely. And it's unfair uh, on the part of the spokespersons uh, to, uh, to come out and really justify or even defend this. Uh, there's absolutely nothing that you can say to defend a statement like this, one. Second, uh, the, the Congress doesn't need to be desperate. Look at the kind of situation that's there in Karnataka. Most surveys are indicating that perhaps the Congress has edge. Look at the uh, uh, MLAs who've gone. Most MLAs have gone from the BJP to the Congress. Uh, they've received good amount of traction for their 40% Sarkar campaign or PCM campaign. When they've already got success, they've, they have momentum on their side, the, B, uh, the Congress really uh, shooting itself in the foot by doing this and uh, giving enough ammunition to the BJP. We've seen over the last four or five days how the BJP has encashed on that statement by Mr. Senior Karge calling uh, the Prime Minister a poisonous snake. Now you have another opportunity for the BJP to uh, really play up this statement of uh, uh, Priyank Karge around uh, the Prime Minister calling him a useless son. The other aspect one needs to highlight here is that if you look at Congress's campaign over the last uh, 8 to 10 months, they've always kept it around Bomai, Bomai's government, their failure, the allegation of 40% Sarkar, and many of that has resonated with people. Uh, the PCM campaign actually found support from many people. The BJP government here struggled to respond to that. So when that strategy was uh, designed, it was implemented, it has worked, many would ask the Congress party, why really uh, stray from that? Why go off track? Even the Christ CM campaign, that is something that uh, many within the party are not comfortable with. They are saying Prime Minister is a man who enjoys support like no other individual in this country. And it would be counterproductive to target him. They are giving example of other states. They are saying in various states where we have personally targeted the Prime Minister and made it Prime Minister versus the Congress party, we have lost badly over there. In states where we have kept it to local issues like Himachal and other places, we have won the election. Yeah. So many leaders in Karnataka want to keep it to that. In fact, several central leaders who came into Karnataka were very clearly told that uh, their speech should be around local issues. But uh, unfortunately, it's the state leaders who are really giving the BJP issues on the platter. Harish, I want to understand another aspect. Since you've been reporting on the ground, speaking to a lot of people as well, what is the narrative that the Congress is pushing on the ground? Because a few days ago or even a week ago, many were questioning whether the BJP will be able to recover from the setback in terms of the likes of Jagdish Shetar and others jumping ship to the Congress and whether the Congress will be able to gain some sort of traction on BJP strongholds. But I don't see that kind of momentum being carried forward into the last leg of electioning. So what is the kind of narrative that the Congress is pushing on the ground? Well, on the ground, the Congress wants to talk about its five poll promises. Uh, remember, the fifth one announced uh, where women would be given free travel in all public transport, irrespective of whether uh, they're working or homemakers, whether in organized or unorganized sector. But uh, the Congress has failed to ensure it reaches to the last person because of the last week or so, we've had discussion only around uh, the Congress calling the Prime Minister or attacking him personally. Now another similar episode coming in. So that hasn't got the kind of uh, press coverage or even uh, uh, buzz among people like how we've done with, how we have seen with the initial promises of the Congress party, whether it was uh, the Gruhalakshmi scheme of giving 2,000 rupees uh, 
to one woman in uh, every household, woman uh, head of the household, or even 200 units of electricity free to every household. That hasn't got uh, so much of buzz among people as much as the first two, three promises did. And the Congress needs to ensure it reaches the people. Remember, uh, there is also a thinking among several analysts that uh, this time around, the, uh, the, uh, the OBC community, especially the Kurubas, uh, the Muslims, and the SE right would en masse vote for the Congress because of the changes in the reservation brought by Burma's government uh, just a week before elections were announced. But unfortunately, we haven't seen much of discussion around that. All we have seen is, in fact, the BJP defending their move. Uh, Amit Shah in most rallies coming out and saying it was illegal to give reservations to Muslims and that's the reason we've cancelled it. They are justifying it. But we haven't seen the Congress coming out and saying what more they'll do. It's only Sidramaya who's, uh, uh, who said that they'll increase the reservation to 75%. But no other outreach to various communities to ensure that these communities, although you believe, would vote for you. Uh, you want to safeguard and ensure that uh, there's no distraction and they vote en masse to the Congress party. That hasn't happened and that's a worry for many Congress leaders. You know, Harish, we'll of course be awaiting more reactions to come in from the Congress or whether they plan to defend this or whether we see some sort of retraction being made by Priyank Karge. But as we enter the last leg, uh, what should we expect in the last few days? Are we only going to expect more political leaders indulge in name calling because apparently that polarization narrative political parties think seem to have an effect? Well, uh, perhaps somewhere the Congress leadership will step in. Uh, probably they couldn't with Malikarjun Karge because uh, he's technical, uh, technically that leadership. He's the head of the Congress party. But now you will see uh, Congress somewhere stepping in and making it very clear to all the leaders that in the last 10 days or so, there can be nothing that can be used against the Congress party. We shouldn't give ammunition to the BJP. Even in the interview that we did with Sidramaya, uh, the sense one got was he was very careful. He, wa he wanted to attack Prime Minister Modi and Shah, but it was only about their projects, about the union government, their promises, whether they've been fulfilled or not. But nowhere did he attack uh, uh, either uh, Mr. Shah or Mr. Modi personally. That's something that was evident. He was very careful, constantly uh, calling Mr. Uh, Prime Minister Modi as Modi ji and ensuring that there's no room for anyone to accuse him of uh, not respecting the Prime Minister or the Home Minister of the country. So some of these leaders are careful. And in every uh, speech that uh, Sidramaya has uh, given, we've seen there is a social welfare push that okay. comes out in his speech, uh, not so much about the union government ensuring that this entire election is against Bombay's government versus Congress's promises. Uh, but it's a handful sure. of leaders who are derailing that Congress's campaign. Harish, we leave the conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details.